Friends, we are starting with the topic of hematology. The full hematology concepts revolves around three basic cells. One is an RBC, one is a WBC, and the third one is a plate. These three cells are basically originating from, RBC originates from erythroids or what we can call as erythroblasts. WBCs have their origin from myeloblasts. We can call it either myeloids or myeloblasts. Platelets originate from a cell megakaryoblasts. So it should be clear in your mind that RBCs are coming from erythroids. WBCs are coming from myeloblasts and platelets are coming from megakaryoblasts. Now before we go into the core pathology, we should also know what are their normal values. RBCs are 4.5 to 5.5 million, million per microliter. Normally when we see an RBC, they have a central pillar. That is, the surrounding area is stained and in the center there is no stain. We call this central pair. This is a, called as normocytic. The second one is a WBC. The total WBC we call as total leukocyte count, short form TLC. The normal value of TLC is 4000 to 11000 per micrometer. About the platelets, the normal value of platelet is 1.5 to 4.5 per microliter. Now it is important to understand these three important cells as well as their normal values. This is a total leukocyte count and when we differentiate these leukocytes into the different types of cells, we call that differential leukocyte, short form DLC. DLC has some granulocytes, granulocytes and it has some non-granulocytes, non-granulocytes, simply means cells which have granules will be called as granulocytes, cells which do not have granules will call as non-granulocytes. Granulocytes includes neutrophils, eosinophils and basophils. Non-granulated cells includes lymphocytes and monocytes. Now we must also know their normal percentages. Neutrophil is usually 50 to 70 percent. Eosinophils is 0 to 6 percent. Basophil is 0 to 2 percent. We are talking about normal values. Lymphocyte is 20 to 40 percent. 20 to 40 percent. While basophil, while basophil is 2 to 8 percent. Now these are the differential leukocyte counts and it is important to know the normal percentages of these cells. Now we will focus from where are these cells actually originating from. Ancestor of this cell is what we call as a hematopoietic stem cell. Short form, we are referring this as HSC, hematopoietic stem cell. Hematopoietic stem cell has some very very important properties. These properties include pluripotency. Pluripotency that is a hematopoietic stem has an ability to give rise to RBCs, WBCs, and platelets. The second property of this hematopoietic stem cell is asymmetric division. Asymmetric division. The third one is trans differentiation. Trans differentiation. Now this is very important property. You know, in seventh edition, this was a contradictory thing. That is, hematopoietic stem cells may or may not show trans differentiation. But eighth and ninth edition says. Hematopoietic cells under certain circumstances can produce nerve cells, myocytes and different type of elements. This property is called as trans differentiation. So we must know this as a very very important question that is asked. Now apart from this, hematopoietic stem cell first forms two types of multipotent progenitors. These are multipotent. Look at the name. Multipotent. It, man, it means it can produce different types of cells. One of them is a myeloid. 
One of them is a myeloid and the other one is a lymphoid. Lymphoid. Lymphoid multipotent is of three types. It can be of B, T or N, K, N, E, H. B, T or a N, K, N, E, H. That is a B lymphoid progenitor, a T lymphoid progenitor or a N, K. That is natural killer lymphoid progenitors. From here on, they produce a serious number of mature cells like a myeloid will give rise to a granulocyte monocyte we call this GM colony forming unit granulocyte monocyte colony forming unit it can also form a eosinophilic colony forming unit we call it EOCFU it differentiates to form a basophilic erythroids and megakaryocyte CFU the different types of colony forming unit now very obviously these cells will give rise to the mature cells as the name says. For example, a granocyte monocyte will give rise to granocyte will give rise to neutrophils, monocyte will give rise to monocytes, eosinophilic CFU will give rise to eosinophils, basophilic CFU will give rise to the mature basophils, erythroids will give rise to RBCs, male granocytes will give rise to platelets. So this is how these cells are originated and we must know that all of these cells are myeloid in origin. This is an important concept to understand the future or the next steps of rheumatology. Lymphoid progenitors which are B, T and N, K obviously will make a B lymphocyte, T lymphocyte and a natural killer N, K lymphocyte. N, K lymphocytes. Now friends, we must also know what are the important growth factors or say interleukins which is helping this hematopoiesis. Now basically there are two types of interleukins. One is interleukin 3 and the other one is interleukin 6 which is helping in the hematopoiesis. Eosinophilic development is helped by interleukin 5 importantly. Sorry, this is a very very important repeat MCQ. Other thing that we must know here is what are the markers of this cell. A hematopoietic stem cell or a myeloid progenesis, these are immature cells and therefore they are CD34 positive. This is again an immature cells, they will be CD34 positive. When a cell matures, this immature markers becomes negative. Similarly, this lymphoid which is an immature cell here will have CD34 positivity and as they mature, they will become CD34 negative. The important question that is in hematology is how to differentiate these types of cells. Look, any mature cell will be CD34 negative. And if this is a myeloid cell, a very very specific lineage marker is NPO. So it will be myeloperoxidase positive. Similarly, if this is a B lymphoid progenitor, it will be positive for a very specific marker CD19. Similarly, the T marker will be CD3 and the NK marker is usually CD16 and CD56. Now, how does this help us? This is an immature myeloid cell. Any hematopoietic neoplasm which is originating from this myeloid immature cell, we will label this as acute myeloid leukemia, AML. Any neoplasm which is originating from B type of lymphoid, we will call this B ALL. That is B type of acute lymphoblastic leukemia. The next one is T. Any hematopoietic neoplasm originating from this T type of immature cell, we will call it as T ALL. Similarly, from this if it is arising, we will call this NK type of acute lymphoblastic leukemia. This is acute. We are labeling this as acute leukemias. Similarly, there is something which is called as chronic leukemias. If a neoplasm is arising from this matured myeloid elements, we label this as chronic myeloproliferative neoplasm. We must know two things here. First is the word chronic and second is myeloid, of course, because it is arising from the myeloid cells. On this area, that is from B, T and N, K lymphocyte, if any neoplasm is arising, we call this chronic lymphoproliferative neoplasms. And the whole WBC disorders revolves around these four diseases. 
first one AML, second one ALL, third one CMPN and the fourth one is chronic lymphoproliferative neoplasms. Now what we will do friends today, I will take one from here that is AML, one from this side that is ALL, I will take one example of chronic myeloproliferative neoplasms, let us take today for example CML and I will take one from the mature lymphoid neoplasms. I will take today CLL. So the next topic would be AML, ALL, CML and CL. Now why do we need to know these markers? If I ask you what is the marker of AML? Simply your answer should be CD34 positive, MPO positive. If I ask you what is the marker of BALL? Your answer should be CD34 positive and CD19 positive. If I ask you what is the marker of TAL, at least you must be able to tell me CD34 positive and CD3 positive. If I ask you what is the marker of CL, what at least you must know is CD34 is negative and because it is B type, it is CD19 positive. With this concept, we are moving into the core hematology, starting with a topic of acute 